Do you, do you see Apple building a car and that may be being a threat to you? Apple, one of the most successful tech companies who's never built a car before, in 2014 announced they're going to build a car. Years go by and we never hear about it again. Why is that? Is it ego? Overconfidence? As cars become more tech heavy, it makes sense that tech giants like Apple could make a great car, right? Well, the answer is more complicated than you might think. An electric vehicle is not a simple device. They are the most complex machines ever built by humans. So why is it taking so long to build them? Does Elon Musk see Apple building a car and that's maybe a threat to Tesla? If you want to know, stay with us right till the end. It's no longer news that Apple's decided to join the race for building electric vehicles. And since they announced their intentions about the Apple electric car project, codename Titan, in 2014 by Apple CEO Tim Cook, and it's known that Vice President Steve Zadesky was in charge of the Titan project, a project designed to develop a car that would exceed the performance of any other vehicle on the road. Apple has been known for building products and services that have always been a step ahead of the competition. The tradition continues with the recent development of the iCar. Apple is already working on this project with their own team. In fact, the company has hired over a thousand employees to develop the vehicle. And some of those employees are people with experience in the electric vehicle industry, mostly from Tesla. It's rumored it will resemble more of a minivan than a car, and production is expected to begin sometime in 2020, but since that announcement, it's been one delay to another. Now we know Apple is late to the party, and as Apple is known for secrecy and to never disclose their product design before launch or operating base. The Apple car has been in the news recently for all the wrong reasons. It seems like every other day there's news about an Apple car being delayed or even canceled. You'd wonder why this is so. Here we are, it's 2022, and nothing has come out of those announcements. Elon Musk is known to be very vocal about a lot of things, and due to his smarts and extensive knowledge in a lot of things, it's a no-brainer he'll be listened to. And for the first time in years after Tim Cook announced the coming of the Titan back in 2016 in an interview, he expressed his concerns about the Apple car. And many will say that Elon is scared of the competition, but here's what he had to say about the question if he sees Apple as competition. I would encourage uh, more participation um, by whoever it is to create electric vehicles. Um, it, it's, it's quite hard to do, um, but I think uh, companies like Apple will probably make a compelling electric car. It seems like the obvious thing to do. Elon Musk isn't scared, neither is he worried about competition. In an interview, he mentioned that after producing his cars, he released patents of his vehicles and designs and made them open source. Certainly Tesla would aspire to still make the most compelling electric vehicles, and that would be our goal, um, while at the same time trying to help other companies make electric cars as well. Um, so, for example, last year we open sourced all of our patents, so anyone can use any of our patents for free. In the same year, he spoke of the projected time frame of when he thinks Apple would release the iCar. What's, what's the time frame for them, do you think? Um, I don't know. I mean, um, I, I think they should have embarked upon this project sooner, actually. Um, uh, that, that, uh, but I don't know. I don't know when they, I mean, they, have, they, you know, they don't share with me the details of their <laughs> production plans, but um, I, I, I don't think it's going to be, I don't think they'll be in volume production sooner than maybe 2020. That would be like the soonest. If you're from the future, you'll know that here it is in 2022 and there's no real date for the release of the Apple car. And not much has been released from Apple other than the fact that Apple's still acquiring a lot of staff largely made from people from Tesla. Although Elon Musk is a very expressive person, he hasn't as much said anything in recent times about the Apple car, and the best thing to note is Apple will always take their own sweet time to release a product to surpass competition. You know you cannot be late to the party for a reason. You have to be the cenosure of all eyes when you come out. You have to be the spotlight, and knowing Apple, with their designs, they'll do nothing less. 
Now, what do we know, or what could be the reason for the delay of the Titan? What we do know is the automobile industry is in a state of flux. Consumers are being increasingly aware of the environmental impacts of gas-powered vehicles. Automakers have been forced to shift their attention away from that traditional focus on performance and efficiency in favor of sustainability. This has led to a number of companies turning their attention toward electric vehicles or EVs. Tesla, one of the world's most recognizable car brands, was one of the first to make that jump, but they're not alone. Other companies like BMW, Daimler, General Motors, Ford, Honda, Volkswagen, and all others have begun to release their own EV models. And yet EVs still have some significant challenges that need to be addressed before they become mainstream. The biggest challenge is battery technology. Batteries can be very expensive. They're also very heavy, which makes them hard to design. And that's why it takes so long for companies to design electric vehicles. There's also concerns about the environment because lithium is a rare mineral. It takes a lot of energy to mine it and extract it. There's also the issue of battery recycling. A fully loaded Tesla Model 3, they're currently priced at around $39,940. The long-range model is priced around $45,940, while the performance model comes in at $53,940. All of these prices are before any state or local incentives kick in, which vary depending on where you live. That's more than twice the price of a similarly equipped Toyota. All of these things are what Apple has to consider to make sure their EVs aren't going to be just another expensive vehicle that graced the market. There must be a difference, and that's what Apple is working on, hence the delay. As we already know about Apple, they're not a company that's synonymous with cheap products. And at that rate, you gotta wonder, who will be the real target audience of the Titan? The making of a car is a big investment. How much more making a revolutionary EV like the Titan that's a self-driving car? One has to wonder how much the tech giant will charge for that next invention a self-driving electric vehicle. There is a lot of hype surrounding the car and the expectations are it will be a hit when it comes out. I mean, come on, it's from Apple. But to beat the competition, will they price it better than the luxury EVs from the competitors like Tesla and Lucid Motors? Well, these are the things that are carefully considered by Tim Cook before the release of the Titan. In my honest opinion, I think we're looking at prices from $50,000 to $170,000 per electric vehicle. As Tim Cook stated, another reason why the car is delayed is the fact that Apple cares a lot about user experience, and they want the car to be worth the time you'll invest being in the car. In that regard, Tim Cook stated Apple is also said to be looking for software engineers to develop experiences for human interaction with autonomous technology and focus on the interior car experience. In his exact words, people need something to do when they're not driving since the car will drive themselves. Regardless of how it works, it's gonna be a big change for modern motorists, but you'll definitely love it. Won't you say that Apple should really take their time in making this vehicle for us? I know I'm excited to see what they'll do with the time they have on their hands and the infinite human and financial resources at their disposal. Now, it's not yet certain when Apple will make this electric vehicle, but the great thing we know is we should expect great things from Apple in the EV industry, and we're all here waiting for it. With Tesla CEO Elon Musk, he's also waiting eagerly to hear Apple while improving on his tech. I think they'll. They'll probably make a good car and uh, probably be successful.